Right, welcome to another week of Sew and Tell. Now, this feels a little bit bizarre because I've only just finished speaking to you to finalise my last video. And uh, it's because this had arrived and I didn't have time to show you in that video. There just wouldn't have been enough time. I'd have been rushing it and I wanted to end with the uh, the old buildings in Coventry. So I really hope you've uh, liked seeing that. Uh, as it stands at the moment, I've not even put those bits into my video <laughs> and sorted it all out. But obviously, um, by the time you see this, that will have all been sorted and it should be on YouTube for you to watch. So here we go. Mandy Shaw. So this is probably a good idea actually that I'm sharing this this week because if there's any um you know people that hadn't had theirs already I'm not going to there's not going to be no, any spoilers or anything so I don't think I need to give any warning because this is a week after I got it. It's arrived in through my door this morning. It's Saturday the 21st of August that I'm beginning the filming of this video so I'm just going to dive in and I can feel it feels like there's a there's a hoop in here it's like feeling the Christmas presents, isn't it? Right, where's my scissors? Oh, I've done something. Right, I didn't tell you about in my last video, but I'd already done it. I have pre-ordered. Now, do you, remember, do you remember me saying I've been making my own calendar this year? Now, I don't know how many little things I've managed to get together yet for my own calendar. But if, what I could even do, if I don't fill it up, I can put like edible things in the other pockets, can't I? But I've ended up pre-ordering my ordering an advent calendar for myself and um it's not my i never had a mandy shaw one last year it's not mandy shaw i haven't heard anything about mandy's this year so i'm not sure if i'm going to be having it because i've pre-ordered this other one now and it's from the craft the crafty so-and-so and i think they're they're in the midlands i think they're east midlands less the way i think and um i've not ever been there i don't know if i've even shopped from there actually um i think i've saw the girls many years ago at ragley hall um when ragley hall did the kirsty's handmade fair now kirsty's handmade fair well they call it kirsty's handmade festival now is usually in london but the year that they did it in the midlands i went to it i went to it a couple of times but unfortunately they didn't do it anymore which is a bit sad isn't it so why was i telling you that oh yes that's where i saw um the crafty so-and-so or crafty so-and-so wherever you're from however <laughs> you say it right yes yeah, so there's definitely a hoop rather a big hoop actually it looks about eight eight or ten inches would you say let's measure it oh gosh i'm knocking things over it's actually i need to measure it i need to push things are dropping off sorry about that yeah if you're measuring the inner the inner circle get yeah, an 18 tooth that is so i wonder what we're going to be doing with that here is the the august letter and it's in a, a packet oh i've got something to tell you actually about this um secret society <laughs> right do you know what i've done i've done i've completed the first month a and b and then we got c and d in the next month but i've done all the red work for it but i haven't put the applique letters on because you know the fabric you're supposed to use um we got a bigger piece of it in the first month and i can't find it so i'm got that that's kind of on hold until i find it again this looks exciting right now there is bits and bobs on the back of here but um, I'll have a dive in there in a moment. There's a paper bag with things in. <gasps> and this is the final thing. It looks like a project. Right, let's have a look. <gasps> oh! I've never seen this before. This is a brand new thing from Mandy. It's called the Be Happy Hoopy. And basically, it's lots of embroidered bees, foliage, um, a, a beehive. It says, be happy. 
and it's basically just lots of embroidery in lots of different colours on linen as well isn't that gorgeous so i hope you can see that okay that is so nice oh thank you mandy i really like that oh that's lovely i wonder if we get an iron on transfer i'm guessing so oh that's so big it's really different for mandy isn't it really she's kind of stepped away from just the red work but that's really exciting yeah, that is so nice that would actually make a lovely cushion wouldn't it as well so oh thank you so much mandy right is this going to be an edible thing do you think oh yes <laughs> this is kind of, actually it's a really good idea actually to open these um when you've had a meal isn't it frutella duo sticks i'll be delving into these in a minute and oh what are these walkers non-such chocolate eclair mm. So, yes, I'm going to be having a nice time in a moment. So, actually, maybe this is what I'll do. Let me go away, have a quick sneak through here, um, eating sweeties, and I'll come back to you when I know a little bit more, rather than you sitting there watching me, just reading, me having to cut loads of things out. So, I'll be back in a moment. Right, welcome back. And I've eaten my sweeties. And what I've done is I've been on Mandy's website to see the updated things for this month. And there's only um, one thing to do with this month at the moment when I look. This happened actually when I chatted to you about Secret Society last month. I went looking on there for photographs and didn't find them. But by the time I finalised my video, some things had been uploaded and I managed to share some photographs. So um, as it stands, I can show you a photograph of the French sewing roll. Now, this is our free August download. And... Um, and I'll pop a photograph of that up. Now, I've already made that. What I'll do is later in this video, um, I'll go and get it and I'll show you what it looks like. I made it quite some time ago. And basically this month, it's about um, the letter E and the letter F. E is for embroidery, F is for fat quarters. There wasn't any photographs on the website when I looked, but you never know, there might be now. So if things pop up and I don't tell you about them, it's because they came up after. But this is E, what we're going to be doing. And this is F for fat quarters. Right? So I hope you can see those. Okay, I don't know if, um, hang on, bear with me. Sometimes I get a bit of dirt on my phone and uh, I don't I notice after sometimes I've got a bit of a bit but it doesn't look right on the screen. It's because my uh, the lens bit was a bit dirty. Right. So that is what we're going to be stitching this month. Plus that, plus the French sewing roll. You, you, as long as you've got the supplies, um, you can make that as well. I did notice that there's a bit of content on Mandy's website that Secret Society members can purchase. And uh, there was a book about the history of threads i think it was and a notepad a plain notepad but it's got the secret society on the front now this um this month was all about um the history of the dmc threads and there's a whole paragraph about that and some interesting facts about embroidery and there was a little tip about an embroidery needle and it says an embroidery needle is actually punched from one side so the hole is slightly bigger on one side than the other so if you're having trouble threading your needle turn it over and have a have a go the other side so that's quite a good tip I've not heard of that before and there's a recipe this month now this is what happened last time I told you that if there's a picture of the recipe I'll put it on the screen and when I looked there wasn't but later on in the month there was well by the time I've got the video out to you so I did manage to put a photograph of the recipe but as it stands at the moment there isn't a picture but if one pops up fantastic because there might be one by the time I get this video to you so it's Mel's fat quarter rascals and by the sounds of it you make like little dough things like a fruity dough that you roll out into 
circles and then you put in cherries for eyes and almonds to make a mouth and I think and I think these faces will look kind of spotty because there's fruit in the dough and I suppose they're called I bet, I bet they're called they're like rascal biscuits but they've kind of tinkered with it a bit and put mouths fat quarter rascals because obviously us sewers we're very familiar with fat quarter fabrics well I, I presume so anyway so and here is the iron transfers which I'm going to be stitching but um I'm going to put these aside for now because I'm going to work on Luna I've got you know I've got a bit of hand stitching to do with that so I'm not going to delve straight into that and here are the fabrics we've got this month to make our project so those are the bits that we're going to be doing the um, embroidery on and the red's going to be the backing now this red here now i remember buying that fabric in 2012 or 2013 because i um, aligned a bag with it so that fabric's been around for quite some time and that fabric in there um is what we've been using to do the applique letters and that's the piece i'm missing for my um for my letters but hopefully it will turn up i just uh, i've got one idea where it might be where i haven't looked yet and i've got um a box down there a plastic box with a lid on and i've seen there's a few things on it so it's worth to have having a little dig around there and i might find it the worst case scenario i'll just have to use um either that or some i've got another mandy kit a cushion kit and uh, it's got the fabric backing which i don't really want to steal the backing but worst case scenario i could steal the backing of that kit and use it for my letters so yeah just um but yeah that's just what's happening at the moment so thank you so much for joining me so far uh on this episode of so and tell and i'll definitely get some dressmaking done um i'm sure i'm going to be getting because i don't think i had any finished dressmaking in my last week video but i suppose i can't imagine you know i can't achieve dressmaking every single week can i not when i do other sewing as well i suppose so so anyway thank you and i'll see you in the next bit bye right welcome back to another day it is now monday the 23rd of August. I've decided to come uh, chat to you today because I don't know how busy I'm going to be tomorrow because I've got somebody coming from the council or education or something. I've booked an appointment and they're visiting us here about what we do with further education for my middle child who's been home educated since he was about 12, 13 or something. He did one year of um, senior school or high school if you're overseas. And uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, it was just going to see what happens. So they're going to have, have a chat with us. So yeah, and my husband's um, out at the moment. Aldis son's at his part-time job. Um, he's a full-time student, but he's got part-time work at the moment. And and my youngest two are still asleep and it is the morning but yeah well I haven't heard from them maybe they have woke up but I've not heard from them so I thought I'll pop on have a little chat with you now so oh I'm wearing my um Tilly in the Buttons I think it's a Cleo pinafore I think this is my se the second one I made and um, in all honesty, I, I initially I loved it, but then I wasn't sure about it because I posted it into um, a craft group, a local craft group um, that I, I personally know the ladies because uh, we said that we were going to try and keep in touch over lockdown and things. And they said, all oh, post things you've made in the group. But in all honesty, I think I make a lot of things all year round. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to be bombarding this group. So I kind of was holding back from posting makes in there. And maybe if other people posted something, I might post something I'd made at the time. And I did post this in there. And one of the ladies said, oh, nice apron. So, and uh, I did think, oh, okay uh does it look like you know so i wasn't quite sure about it but um I do, you know it was it was a little bit out there do you know what i'm saying for uh 
you know, a dress kind of thing. But, you know, I just kind of, I went for it, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you think? I don't know. I, in all honesty, when I made it, I can't remember what pe if people commented. I can't remember now. It's been quite a while ago now that I made it. So, um, I can't remember if people were saying how much they liked it, I don't know. So, yeah, it's probably not what I'd be my first thing I pick out in my wardrobe, but I'm going to wear it to the food shop just to grab a few supplies today. So, anyway, so, um, yeah, I have got something to show you, but um, and I haven't, well, I've got one thing that I've finished, and I'll basically, when you last saw me, I was, um, I'd cut out Luna, I'd know my green Luna, and I have finished her, I haven't, well, I say I haven't clothed her, she has got a pair of pants on, and she's wearing the eye mask, and she's in the sleeping bag, so she's hiding her modesty, but uh, I'll, what I'll do is, I'll get the first Luna I ever made, you ha if you've watched my videos before, you'll have seen Luna before, and, and here she is. Now, I have changed her pants. Do you know, remember though, that fabric I was given? This stuff, it looked like, um, it was like at the bottom of a tablecloth. It was about 11 inches high or something like that, but really, really, really long. And, um, and I cut out a pair of Alfie, the Alfie boxer short pattern, but it didn't really work because the way you had to do it because you wasn't hemming it you ended up with a, uh, the front longer than the back but on because they're like um jaggedy you can't really notice it if i turn around you can't really notice and what i've done is i've decided i've took her french knickers off that i first made for her and i've put these on so i know they stick out quite far under this dress but when she's sitting down and her dress is down, it actually just peeks out a tiny little bit. So it, these actually look nicer under her dress than what she had on before. When I remember when I made her pants, her, her French knickers, when I first made her, the stuff that I got, it was quite stiff and I wasn't all that happy with it. So these look much nicer. Now, I did have a little um, animal repair. She had to go to animal hospital last night when i was messing around i noticed the very top of her leg um this leg had come slightly undone so i stitched it back up and i actually went all the way down but i can actually see that when i sewed her i don't i think i was trying to do a bit of a ladder stitch thing going on and the seam is quite flat but that's not how you make Looney. you do like an over sew so you should feel that seam so i'm i'm actually decided i'm going to give her a little bit of a revamp my original Luna. so i'm going to sew over the some of the seams again and um and I've actually decided, because initially she had wooden, a natural wood colour eye, and I ended up um, colouring it in with a Sharpie, because it kind of looked better with Alfie. But I've actually decided I'm actually going to change her eyes. Um, before I take them off, um, I will make sure I've got something to replace them with, because I'd feel awful, you know, just seeing her with no eyes. But they, yeah, they probably don't look too bad, but... Compared to my others, I'm a little bit disappointed now. And I've kind of given the others a bit of an eye socket, which I've always done with like animals and things. But because this pattern said, didn't say to do that, I didn't do it. I kept it to its original. But I've put the eye socket in with the others and I like having an eye socket. So um, I'm going to do that with this Luna. And I might even give her a little bit of blusher because I do put blusher um, on toys and dolls and things I might give her a little bit of blusher as well so yes yeah, so my original Luna she's beautiful but she's going to get some TLC and um, it looks like I've over sewn a head and things but and, and I was and actually um, I've got better at the noses since I've done my original Luna, Luna as well but um I'm not you know but I do like her nose and I'm just going to leave it so yeah she's going to have a little bit of a revamp you know because I suppose I've just got better at the at these animals haven't I over time I'll see if I can try and leave her in shot 
so you can see the happy the happy gang now if you like luna um you can make basically make her from the luna lapping book the first book which i think i've got actually uh, there's three books the two recent books I've left upstairs, but I bought this one down. So you can make Luna from this. Or you can actually not bother with the book and you can actually get her as a kit from um, the Cool Crafting website. But just make sure you're buying the right thing. You can buy a complete kit. You can buy a remake kit, which means you've already got the pattern you want to remake Luna. Or you can have the pattern only. But um, I, uh, I, I think I bought this. I might have bought the book from Amazon, possibly. And then never made Luna. And then when I went to the NEC one year, I saw Sarah Peel and her little stand. And then I bought some supplies to make Luna. I think that's how it happened, how it all began. Um, and then when I went back to the show again, I bought some felt to my Alfie and it sat the felt sat on this book for a long long time on my shelf and I just didn't get round to making him and I just don't know why because as you've seen you've probably seen me if you watch my videos well he's delightful isn't he so these um um jeans I've made out of um some of my son's old jeans those are the original hems and I've just kind of turned them up you know, made them out of my boy's old jeans. And this fabric was a fabric from a, a top I've made myself. Miffy the Rabbit fabric. And I've and obviously, if you watch my videos before, you think, yes, I've seen Alfie before. But yeah, Alfie, I've used plastic black eyes. And you didn't hear my black nose. But Luna's a wooden. And I've coloured them in. So they, they, they do look a bit like wishy-washy. I don't know how bad it looks on camera. But um, they look a bit wishy-washy. And I've given Alfie an eye socket. And I really like that. So that's Alfie and Luna. See if I can... I've got my hot water bottle sticking out of here. So it's making them a bit tricky to sit them down. And then you'll have seen the settee I made. Now the settee, you, can get, you probably can get this as a pattern on its own. And probably a kit. But um, I think... I got the pattern from the book and then I might have ordered the remake kit from um, from the website, the Cool Crafting website, because I'd already got the pattern and I made this little settee. And uh, apparently, it does say in the book, this is the hardest thing of all the lunar lapping makes. Um, so, but yeah, it wasn't, from what I remember, it wasn't too bad. It doesn't look, it looks a bit skewy looking, doesn't it? Yeah, it, you know, it, I suppose it isn't the easiest of things to make, is it? But these, this looks quite nice when you want to photograph them. So, um, I'm going to hold shop at that on my lap or shop. No, I don't want to block them out of you. I've made the effort to get them in shot and then I cover them with a settee. Then you'll have seen um utterly now uh i'll tell you what before i get her out i've actually taken a photograph of utterly this morning on the chair and i'll pop that photograph in so i took that picture this morning and posted it on social media so it was a long a long awaited photo that's what i put in my post i just hadn't got round to photographing her but she's got a dress out of that um fabric i was given that looked like the bottom of a tablecloth and uh, and she's got the pants. She's actually, I made the French knickers. The French knickers are in this book and you can get them as a kit and you can get them probably as a remake. But yeah, I use what I had and they're, they're shorter. So Luna had French knickers on before, but not made out of this. And they were short like that. But they're lovely, aren't they? So going forward, if I ever use anything that's got like a decorative edge, I'll definitely use the French knickers. But it might be worth, if I want to have something a little bit longer um, to stick out under a dress, then maybe the, the boxer shorts are a good way to go. But I have to bear in mind, the way the pattern piece is shaped, 
it's not straight at the bottom they're curved so when you're using something that's like kind of like this it just it didn't work unfortunately now now recently you saw the sleeping bag and the eye mask are made does that look a bit overpowering having Otterlee in there you saw the um oh, I'll move right the way I don't know how that <laughs> looks it could probably be a bit distracting um you saw the sleeping bag in a, in a recent video and the eye mask and I had this Luna I took Luna's clothes off and I popped her inside but I've now made the green Luna now uh, I last spoke to you Saturday and had all the cut out pieces I basically Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening I basically finished her so I was really excited or did I Sunday actually Sunday I just had to sew her arms on and do the and so her eyes and nose on and then I was finished but I did a lot of, and I sewed a head on last night as well so I did a lot of the bulk of the work Saturday and then finished off Sunday evening so I've popped her in the yeah, put cover her eyes up I've popped her in there oh gosh that's not covered up is it popped her in the sleeping bag so this is obviously the sleeping bag that was in the summer uh, book uh, the magazine, the subscription box that I got recently that I said I'm not a subscriber to. It was the final box of the year. So, and this was the Luna that's in the photograph. Actually, I've not made the bunting yet, but that's the green Luna in there, look. And she looks lovely, doesn't she? But what I'll do is I'll get her out so you can have a real good look. Actually, I'll show you the sleeping bag open. Actually, do you remember I was telling you my head was a bit pickled with the pattern piece for this? What you do is the pattern piece looks like it's shaped like that, but it's very short. And then it's got these rounded edges. What you do is you it tells you what size to cut your fabric. You put that pattern piece at the top and use that. And then you move your pattern piece down to the bottom and corner your edges. That's why my head was a bit pickled and I couldn't think what was going on with it. But um. But that is that. And uh, right. And now the pants she's wearing. Oh, look, at she's so cute, isn't she? Now, I don't know what my reservations were about having a green Luna because she's delightful, isn't she? She's really delightful. I can hear some rumbling out there. I'm wondering, is it thunder or is it? work going on over there i really don't know but we did have thunder and lightning this weekend just gone so now these are the french knickers that i made for my very first luna that i made and i can hear it again and though it was this real it's the only thing it was meant to be like lace and this is the only thing i could get and it's really stiff but I was desperate and that's what I ended up getting. But another reason why I've swapped the pants is because I've not yet made a tail for this Luna. Whether I will, I don't know. But that Luna, I made a tail and the boxer shorts have a hole for the tail. So her, actually I'll show you. See her tail sticks out of the little hole, look. So, um, so I thought that just, it's, um, you know, it suits that Luna. Oh gosh, she's going to fall off. Maybe I'll hold her. She's not doing too well on there, is she? So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so this is how she's looking. I, I'm really proud of her. I think that, um, you know, I've, I, well, I did make a mistake. I must admit, when, do you know when I showed you the ears that I'd pinned in? You do machine those in but then you hand stitch the face together i only made a mistake and i used a quarter of an inch seam and i stitched the face together and i did have a lot of trouble around the ears and then i realized i'd done wrong it done it wrong and i'd, I'd short my stitch length so i had so much trouble on saturday was it saturday yeah i think so it might have been saturday uh picking all the stitches out and I was worried have a damaged a face and would I need to cut a new one out but with the, it's been really forgiving this fabric and uh, and I can't see any damage at all where I had to cut that because obviously this is only a tiny seam but the seam I could have had damage going either down either side of her face but there's nothing but I'm really pleased I've used like a burgundy um 
th uh, thread for a nose and I've actually used black eyes but I've used the burgundy thread to stitch her eyes in and I've put a um, handmade wooden button on here. Have I done that on Ottoline? No, I haven't got buttons on Ottoline from what I can see. Oh, have I? Oh, I have. Oh, her arm's all twisted. Yeah. I have got dark buttons on Ottoline. I think those came in. I bought Ottoline as a kit and I think those came in it. And I couldn't find actually the but one of the buttons that came with this summer book. So I've had to use buttons from my own stash. But that's how the little feet are looking with the uh, metallic gold on her feet and, and, uh, and on her ears. And the reason I went for that is just so um, I wasn't so restricted with her outfit with what I wanted to put on her. Because I didn't know if I was going to make the dress that the supplies came in the box. But do you know what? It's just not calling out to me that dress what i'm thinking of doing is i'm actually thinking i don't know whether to call this luna the green luna apple do you know because she's like apple green give her her own personal name so we've not got another luna so i don't know what what do you think calling her apple or a apolina or something apolina it's quite nice so apple apolina or something i don't know but uh <laughs> oh she does i'm looking at her because i actually i have to look to the side at a dot to look at you so yeah i'm admiring her um on the screen so oh yes i'm just so delighted so what i'm thinking of doing in the way of outfit for her uh, am i in any rush i don't know um what shall I do? Yeah, I'll, sh I'll pop her there a moment so I can show you. Now, in the Luna book, I made my first ever Luna. This, I'll show you the outfit. I actually made her the outfit on the, fir the first page, you see, of that coat. I only put one button on mine because um, I was having trouble with the buttonhole through the two double layers of wool felt. But So I just ended up putting the one button. I thought I was going to ruin the coat I'd made at the time. So I didn't end up doing any more. But the one button looks fine. Actually, I could put the other buttons on. So it was like a fake, a fake effect kind of thing. So that's the dress I made for my first Luna. With the Peter Pan collar and a nice like pleat down the front. Yeah, I can see it. I have done the pleat. Sorry, did I... Bash the th I don't know if I got how close I got then. I was looking at Luna. See nothing. I was thinking, have I done the pleat? Yeah, I have. I can see it. I don't think you can see it on camera. Yeah, it's got a pleat down the front kind of thing. So, yeah, I did it as you were supposed to. Then it's the seti, which I've done now. I might cut bits out while I'm turning pages. There are some beautiful photographs in this book. Look, look, there's the settee with this miniature sewing machine on there. It's nice, isn't it? I'm going to just look at the time. Right. Now, see this dress here? I've never made that dress. It's a dress with a, like a, a tie on the neck with a lace shrug. Wow. This is the dress I'm thinking of making. I'll show it you without the shrug. Can you kind of make that out? It might be really hard to see because the fabric, the, the necktie is in the same print. Right. Let's see if there's any more pictures. You can see some drawings of the tie look there. And then it's the shrug, the shrug on its own. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is finding a fabric that looks really nice with, with her make that dress right and then do you know the this box you've got the denim to make the denim jacket make the denim jacket to go with it instead of the lace shrug make her a bit more trendy what it is initially i was going to make the denim jacket and then uh, see how i feel about the dress but i've had a look at this jacket and it's actually lined with um, a pattern fabric and they've actually matched, Sarah's actually matched, if it's Sarah that's made it, I'm sure it is Sarah, has matched these fabrics. I think she's used that 
that mahogany kind of burgundy looking one inside so if i make the denim jacket i've got to make the decision if i want mine to match i've got to make the decision what fabric and make sure i've got enough to make the dress the tie if i want the tie matching and the denim jacket so what do you think of that outfit um i think that will be lovely i really think that denim jacket on a dress like that is going to look pretty gorgeous now i could make this dress this dress again the first dress but i've already made it it would be nice if i could if i'm doing the um the lunar things to just make something that i haven't made before just to make it a little interesting you know because i made a dress didn't i a different dress for Ottoline, and that was from one of the other books that was meant to be for luna but these these outfits fit um fit the other animals they do the only ones you have to kind of watch out for there's a, a a larger rabbit that sarah peel does and she's gorgeous she is all machine sewed there's no hand stitching and she's made in linen and she's called flora rabbit and she's a big rabbit um i was tempted with flora rabbit before but i think it's because i had alfie sitting ready to go and you know what? I, i'm quite strict with myself sometimes i won't let myself get something else if I think well I haven't made that rabbit do you know what I'm saying I try and have like little rules with myself and things sometimes I don't I forget I've got something that I should have made because I have got a, I know I've got um Mel mouse to make this is not a loot uh, from the lunar lap and it's not a sarah peel pattern it's a joe carter pattern i've made the ballerina wherever she is before and um and i've got mal mouse to make that i just haven't got round to and i have got a lovely elf pattern by owl and the sewing cap but every time i've gone to make the elf I think it's the fabrics have been a problem. I don't know if it's because I was so desperate to try and gather Christmas fabrics together to finish, do you know, that quilt that I've started. I've done all the red work for it and I need Christmas reds. I had so much trouble getting Christmas reds. I just didn't want to use my Christmas reds on any other project, you know, but I've been, I've been collecting a few now. I've got some more, actually. Let me go and grab them. These are my most recent ones. Um, I ordered these as um, an early bird on Create, no, on uh, Sewing Street, right? To, and it's because, and in all honesty, I think it, it was quite expensive. They're fat quarters and they're five, but I think what I paid, sorry, Sewing Street, I don't think they were the cheapest for a pack of fat quarters, but I wanted the pin badge. And I th in the pin badge, I will get a discount code that I can use next year. So I kind of can justify it with that, you see. And I've had to pay postage as well. So I probably haven't really made much of a saving, but I probably won't lose out. But those are my most recent. And I don't know if I showed you these. I bought three packs of these. Now, these aren't this I bought these quite some time ago and I don't remember if I if I ended up showing you but these are the craft cotton coming I think I got them from Hobby Craft and I got three packs of them they're not Christmas but they they would be okay they would look Christmassy if you put them with a Christmas project and my Christmas quilt is very bright red and I did order some Christmas reds that I showed you recently from the cotton patch they were quite deep to burgundy red and I don't know if they're going to go so I have been quite good at collecting Christmas reds I think I've been so desperate because I had trouble other years in shops buying any then I went to the festival of quilts and that's all I looked for all day was christmas reds and i just couldn't get that i probably could get one style of fabric on the bolt but i wanted pre-cuts so i had a good selection so they're slowly building up now i'll just pop these back right so there we go for now i hope you've liked seeing all my little uh bunnies so the, here's the the three the three bunnies shall i put um apple or appleina whatever i'm going to call her in the middle because she's kind of like you know 
different to the other two. So yeah, I've got three little bunnies now and and, and Ottoline's a bit left out, isn't she? I think I need right to make um another kind of animal because you know Ottoline's a bit outnumbered, you know, isn't she really? So yeah, so there'll be more I think I've got hopefully I've got many years ahead of me <laughs> right that's what I hope anyway and and hopefully I'll get more <laughs> where I'm going to keep them I do not know um I think if I didn't live in a house full of men right my husband says I would really dread to think what this house would be like if I wasn't here, he said. Um, I think he imagines me with um, a lot of cats and crochet blankets and things, you know. <laughs> and uh, and he and he he does he doesn't re criticise my tastes a little bit. We was look we actually um, had to nip into our local town yesterday afternoon, and uh, and I was looking at all in Dunalm, all the bee themed like uh, seat cover things and he said yeah they're a bit like old-fashioned looking on <laughs> and yeah I think he's a bit well what it is you what you struggle with with men if you left it up to them you'd look like you live in a bachelor pad don't wouldn't you well with my husband you know it would be clinical or bachelor pad looking or brothel or 70s drug lord or something if i left it up to him right i my, i think my taste is fine right i like modern country that in my home that's my style so some country looking things with a modern twist you know like so shake a kitchen with a modern handle do you know what i'm saying that kind of thing i like natural material stone wood do you know that kind of thing linen that kind of thing so yeah i think i bring some femininity but the femininity sometimes all has to stay in here that's why i think i go a bit you know i think i'm gonna go feminine um overboard actually when i revamp this room i think i want white walls in here i've got brown walls in here because this used to be an old living room we wanted brown at the time and we had three very small boys that used to be putting their fingers on the walls and with the brown you just couldn't see it so yeah um yeah I, I like you know you've got to have a bit of femininity but obviously I live in a house full of men don't I you know so yeah getting femininity can be rather tricky really can't it so anyway i'm going to go and um i, I will be back soon um I'm, I'm hoping before i get cracking making um my new bunny rabbit and outfit i'll probably just hide her modesty and put her back in the sleeping bag i think i'm going to make that top the stripy top that i keep telling you about because yeah i feel like i've been um you know not keeping the dressmakers happy really with my videos but i know that not everybody that watches my videos is even interested in dressmaking but i like to do a bit of everything you know so anyway i'm going to go and um and i'll see you in the next bit bye right welcome back it is now oh god what's it doing it is now tuesday the 24th and it's five to four in the afternoon now i'm getting to you quite late and it's because uh, if you watched a previous video or maybe it was this video i don't know i said that i was getting a couple of people come out to me to talk about my middle son going into education because um he's been home educated since he was about 13 and uh yeah and he was and he would have left school if he had been still in school but was hoping to get him into college well um, they've been out and they were absolutely fantastic it was a mother and son team and uh, and they were just wonderful just absolutely wonderful and they could totally totally re relate to myself and Declan and everything that we've been through and uh, and basically they've really put his mind at ease and he's going to college September so here um what it is you do have to because he didn't home educated children this year 
couldn't take any exams. So normally, if you're home educated, you can go and take GCSEs in school, but even though you don't attend school. But because of Corona and everything, that wasn't um, a possibility anyway. But we hadn't, we didn't think we was going to be doing that with him anyway. So to start off with, he's going to be studying English and maths. And so it'll be like part time. And then they'll give him lots of tasters of different courses that they offer there to see what he's interested in and give him all his options going forward for, you know, the September after. So yeah, and he's agreed to do it and his name's down and he's, he's going to be starting. I'm just so excited, right? So uh, obviously, you know, we've got to see how it goes uh, but at the moment everything is really positive so fingers crossed it stays this way right I'm really happy to say now if you've watched my videos before you'll have seen it already but I couldn't find it could I my recreation outfit that I want to try and recreate now I'm not saying I want the hat uh, I'm not even saying I want the neckerchief and and these shorts they've got like silk coming out the bottom i'm not that fussy i think it was just the navy shorts and the stripy top and uh, you know that was the main thing maybe i would make them neckerchief i don't know but that's what i ripped out of the vogue sorry about the the lamp is making it shine right so i found it i hopefully won't lose it again i have got a pin board so i might stick it up now I'd already made shorts before I found this, right? And it was the Tilly and the Buttons. Oh, I'm gone, bear with me. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Jessa, the Jessa shorts, right? And I made them before in some fabric that had been given to me, but I didn't end up finishing them because I made the size to excuse this so you can see all the overlocking in white obviously I didn't end up finishing these off you wouldn't if I just stitched it down you wouldn't have seen those overlocked bits I'm gonna let me put a pin there so you can kind of get an idea right it's got I put the pockets on the front I didn't end up putting any uh the, the little threads that you can see are where you meant to put your you know your fastenings and things but I, I made the size too uh my husband said they looked a bit big on me so I ended up remaking them I made the size one and I lowered the rise I think that's what you call it Do you know the height basically the height so they wasn't going to sit quite as high and um and I've got them on but they've got no fastening yet um I've ne I didn't have one at the time so I never fi finished them so I'm gonna let me just this is um this is Tilly and the Buttons top I probably should have put a tea a t-shirt on right let me just make sure the zip's up I've just got to put a button on. That's it. So with this pair, I didn't put those two pockets on there. What did I do with the back of these? So I left the back of these plain. But this one, I put that pocket with a button. Is it a fake pocket? I think it's a fake, yeah. It's a fake pocket. And I put the pockets on the back. Look. Hopefully you can see that. I'll, I'll, try, I'll try not flash to it. Oh, Sorry, somebody's at the door. Bear with me. Sorry. Right, I'm back. I've put a t-shirt on so it's easier to show you. Well, I've showed you the waist now, haven't I? But it just makes it a little easier. This t-shirt, I didn't make it. This is a kid's H&M. I did get this year. And the reason I got it is I just thought I've never had a t-shirt with a sleeve like that. I thought I'll try it, see if I like it. And then if I like it, I can recreate it, can't I? So I've noticed actually the way that collar is, it looks light that side and dark that side. They've not, <laughs> they've not done very well there. I suppose I wear my hair on one side. Right, let me stand up. I thought I can just get up. That's what they're like, look. I don't have to get all my legs out for you, do I? So, uh, yeah, I just need to put that thing. And they fit, because remember, I was wondering. I said I hadn't um, hadn't basically 
uh, try, you know, I made them ages ago. I didn't know if they fitted me. And obviously with lockdown and everything. But I have been going to the gym, haven't I? So, uh, so hopefully, yeah, they've, they've been all right and they fit. So those are the shorts that I'm going to do. Now, my husband said, oh, you should do the belt. But my crocodile wasn't working all that well when I last used it. So I don't know. Actually, I've got another tool. <gasps> I've got this. So maybe I could make a belt with all that. I don't know. I'm not that bothered about that belt. Um, and I've got the fabric. So I know I keep showing you this. I am going to make it. But um, well, actually, I was in here yesterday and uh, no got my friends <laughs> my only friends <laughs> no i'm a joking um i was basically tidying up in here i was really hoping to find that fabric for my mandy shaw things to do the applique letters and i didn't find it i could i can use something else i'm just thinking but um but i did find what did i find i found that so that was good and and I, and I did sew something else right so this um luna here apple or appleina she's still naked well she's got a french knickers on but i've sewn these together right now i did show you a panel before i've what well, it looks a bit creased because i've i've basically i've sewn this together it's basically a fabric panel times three i've sewn them together on the overlocker then i've sealed off the raw edges and i've washed it and tumble dried it but i've not ironed it or anything but i was a bit of an idiot i basically i sewed one upside down but it was the end one if i'd have sewn say the middle one upside down or the two side ones it kind of would have looked okay because you got some this way some this way but one on the end didn't look right so i had to unpick overlock stitches now i have heard people say don't um pick overlock stitches uh, life's too short but you know what it wasn't too bad i kind of just went that so if that was the seam went that way through a few stitches every third stitch and it wasn't too bad and i did it in front of the tv and it wasn't too bad so this is what i'm looking like so that's where the one's sewn together there that's one two three and it look it's massive look and that's the length of it so basically, I'm going to iron it. I'm going to um, wad it. I'll, I'll use um, 5A5 spray. I might, I might put a few um, safety pins in it because it's quite big, isn't it? And I'll, I think I've got some backing I can use. Yeah. I think so yeah i've got something i think will be okay hang on i'll go and get it bear with me i'm gonna watch last stop this right when sewing quarter was closing down uh, i bought two bolts of fabric one in uh like an appley green more because i thought it'd be good for backing like christmas quilts if i've got a bit of green or something and this one it's like a a kind of teal it's a teal with white spots basically and look i think that will make a decent backing and i'll probably make the binding out of it as well so what my plan is if i get it done in time anyway is this is going to come to cornwall and it will basically be a quilt we can take down to the beach and if all of a sudden you know with the british weather it just gets really chilly and cold you know we just wrap it around it's nice and big isn't it and with a big quilt you know on the beach my husband said oh is it going to be something to sit on now i suppose i could have it as something to sit on i have got a massive piece of oil cloth i could use like a pvc i could use and you could use even a shower curtain or something but I want to go down the quilting route so yeah that's what i'm going to do now um oh do you know i was talking about things that you can buy off the mandy Shaw website if you're a member of the secret society i've actually got one of these notebooks 
I've had this in either this club or in Mandy's club, uh, or previous clubs. I've had one of these notebooks. They're just plain paper inside. So I just thought I'll show you one of those in person. And um, what else did I find? Right, I did find something. Do you remember that fabric I bought? Italia Brunette. And it did make me think, oh, gosh why have i not used this because this would be lovely for the summer wouldn't it this lovely fabric but it's do you know what i'm not gonna put myself under pressure it's something to look forward to you know and i haven't got to buy i've got a pattern i can use and i've got this which is nice and i'm, I'm kind of swinging back and forth i might make this dress for luna I don't, I don't, I must admit, I don't get really excited about it on the picture. Right, but I just think maybe made up in front of my eyes. I might really, oh, look at my sleeve, I might really like it. So, anyway, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go now. I think I've got, I've got quite a bit of footage already from when I was looking back. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send you over to some footage I took this morning. My husband come racing upstairs going... Claire, look at the bathroom window. Uh, it, this was on the neighbour's fence and there was a heron. So uh, I'm going to send you over to that footage. And then after that, I'll come back. And I'm guessing that's going to be the final bit of my video for this, this sew and tell. So thank you so much for joining me so far. And I'll see you in the next bit. Bye. No, they filled that pond in, didn't they? But there used to be the pond there, and that's maybe why it's there. Do you remember it used to sit on the roof across the road at Heron, remember? Hmm. Oh, wow. How did you spot it from down there? I was just putting some dry food out, and it just flew, swooped in over there. Just yeah. flew over the edge, yeah. This is where he's getting it repaired and I thought I might show you this cute little cottage where they live. Right, welcome back to the final part of my video. Um, excuse what I'm wearing. I'm going ice skating and this is something that um, I had to wear in a show once where we were just covered in, uh, this is like fluorescent paint and we were covered in it and we had like a, a fluorescent scar, a skirt on and things for like a Christmas show, one of the dances we did. And uh, I, I've got a plain one of these and I was going to wear that for practice today and I can't find it. So I'm going to have a jumper over this. So when I'm practicing, you're not going to see all these spots. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know what um, I've made and to finalise this video, I've had a look and I've, I thought, gosh, I've chatted a lot this video. So I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, I just need to finalize it basically so um since uh speaking to you i've made this chicken and i've made it as a memorial for betty so this is just like a, a fake ikea plant and an ikea pot and it's got like a foam in it and i've made the chicken and i've dug it in but you know what i'll um 
I can't remember the name of the designer, but I'll let you know next time. I've had a lot to talk about and I forgot to get that sewing roll that I made. I did say to you I was going to, the Mandy Shaw sewing roll, the free project in the Secret Society, the download. I've made it already and I was going to show you, but I've left it upstairs. So I'll show you another time if you want to see that. So that's my chicken and I didn't end up getting my recreation top done, but it is on my to-do list uh, but I've since actually my husband was buying an anniversary card for our in-laws and I've picked up another Vogue and it was on a special price look two pound so I've had a little look at the start of it but I've got um, a good bit of looking through to do which is great now um, I've given Luna a, v a revamp I've sewn over some of her seams to give her a bit more of a ridge in places that it didn't look like actually I don't know I probably could do with going over that front one that looks a little bit it doesn't look too bad really but oh excuse my hair as well um I've got to do some straight stretches and things before I go ice skating so I thought I'll do my stretching and then I'll let my clips out of my hair so my hair looks a little bit messy nicer when I go ice skating rather than let it out do my stretching and then I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards before I've even stepped out the door do you know what I'm saying uh, so um yeah and I've given her new eyes and I've given her an eye socket so she's got nice glossy eyes now so she ties in better with the others and I'm so happy because when I cut those eyes off that I put a sharpie on they just looked really appalling I think they look better on but she just looks so much better for these brand new eyes and things so yeah I'm really pleased and I have started to make an outfit for my green Luna or Apple or apple because I haven't quite decided I think I'm going to call it Apolline but um yeah so this is how her dress she's got those French knickers on but this is what the dress is looking like so far now I've made that dress I was telling you about but I'm not finished yet the uh the neck tie is a separate piece with a pin so I've just not got round to cutting it out yet that's the what the pattern piece actually where is it Oh, here it is, look. That's it on the fold. So I've just got to make that. That's not going to take very long to sew by the look of it. But this is what the dress looks like, actually, before you make the bow. It's really very sweet. It's like a shift dress, I'd describe it as, with sleeves. And, um, and I've put prestards on the back, flower-shaped ones. They do look quite bulky on this. So I don't know if I'd use these prestards again on these little tiny garments, but they do look quite pretty, don't they? So I've got to make her, her basically her neckerchief out of this which is going to look lovely isn't it and then I'm going to make the denim jacket and I'm going to line the denim jacket with this so I know I've swung back and forth haven't I about that summer dress but this is what I've ended up deciding on, on what I'm going with but I think these what it is I thought these will tie in nicer together in their liberty dresses even though their liberty dresses a different style They'll just look really cute together, won't they? So, uh, and put the little arm round like this. They can be little, uh, little buddies, can't they? Bunny buddies. So, yeah, I'm really happy with what's with that. So, next time, I think you're going to see probably my recreation top. Um, maybe a bit of this that I've been working on. And a bit more progress with my lunar things. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep the lunar things going here and there. So, so thank you so much for joining me so far. Um, well, joining me this time. And, uh, and I'll see you in my video next time. Oh, and actually, I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little something. Um, tomorrow evening, I'm spending one night away fairly local it's at basically a gym my husband and i used to go to with it's quite nice it's better than our gym and it's got a hotel attached to it we're going there just for one evening for a meal and things and a breakfast and we'll be able to use the gym things for our wedding anniversary uh, we lived we've just celebrated we didn't we didn't celebrate it we've just got past our 20 year and that was the day we went to that 21st birthday party so we didn't really do anything for 
for it. I didn't get to wear my frugal frock, which that was the plan for my 20 year together anniversary. But uh, because we didn't do anything, I think that's why my husband has booked this for our 16th wedding anniversary. So uh, maybe I'll get to wear my frugal frock that I made that I was meant to be for my 20 years together anniversary for this 16 year wedding anniversary. So, um, so that's what's happening at the moment. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.